Okay, so what's happening now for the next eight minutes, whether you feel anything or not, is all of your cells are being fully charged and oxygenated. <clears throat> and it takes just eight minutes to get all your cells to their full charge. And then the body is prepared to do its own healing work and balance and, re and repair work. So the body can do that. <clears throat> it knows how to heal itself. It just can't do it when the cells are operating at a low level. <clears throat> the cells are the batteries to the body. And we need our batteries to be at their highest level of function. And then the body can do what it naturally knows how to do. It can balance itself, repair itself, heal itself. <clears throat> just charging all of your cells in, in these first eight minutes <clears throat> is it's charging them with all of the frequencies that are within the range of the Earth's own magnetic pulse. And there's many, many frequencies in that range, but there's some very key frequencies that the body really resonates with. <clears throat> and uh, they actually discovered how significant these frequencies are back in 1961. That's when the first human actually went outside of those frequencies. It was a Russian cosmonaut. Um, the Russians won the space race to, to, to go into outer space. And uh, the first one to circle the globe was Yuri Gagarin, very famous. <clears throat> and when he landed in 1961, when he landed, his body was in bad, he was in bad shape, very, very bad shape. They had to pull him off on a stretcher. His bones were severely deteriorating with osteoporosis. He was um, in a depression. His metabolism was way off. And all of this happened in an hour and 48 minutes. And they discovered that if he was up there much longer, he would have died. That the body can be away from food and water longer than it can the frequencies of the Earth's magnetic pulse. So, uh, as a matter of fact, he never came out of his depression. He died early, mid-30s of, of depression. <clears throat> so now, this technology is in the space program. They have pulsating magnetic uh, field generators in the shuttles, in the spacesuits, so it allows the, the human, the, you know, the astronauts and cosmonauts, to go up outside of the ionosphere into outer space where there's no longer any frequencies from the Earth's magnetic pulse. It allows them to go up there and survive. Now, just to speak more about the importance of the, the, cellu the cellular charge, um, have you ever heard anybody say that they have heart cancer? No. Isn't that interesting? And everybody says no to that. Nobody's ever said, yes, I actually know. Nobody has. And they all say, yeah, wow, never thought of that. Well, obviously, there's a reason for that. So what is the reason? Well, we know that as, as humans, we know we're energy. And <clears throat> our heart is known as the energy center. The charge of the cells in the area of the heart are higher than anywhere in the, in the whole body. They're, they're measured at 120 millivolts of charge. Cancer can't exist at that level of charge. So the goal is to get all of the cells to their highest level of charge. Now, they won't get to 120 like the heart, but they can get really close. They can get to 90 to 110. That's the, that's the ultimate goal for all the cells to get to that level of charge, 90 to 110. If you have a back pain going on or some kind of an issue going on, um, the cells are probably at around 50 millivolts. <clears throat> cancer cells are down around 20 or 30. But even if there's cancer in the body, it's very difficult for the cancer to grow or to thrive when there's oxygen and when there's alkalinity. And every time you're laying on this mat, it's pumping oxygen to all the cells and tissues and helping the body to be alkaline. And um, it helps to die. And we actually had a woman not too long ago <clears throat> um, who bought two of these systems, one for her family and one to loan out to people in need. And one of those people was her son's teacher with cancer. And they gave it to her to use for 30 days. And when they tested her after 30 days, all of the tumors in her, in her lungs and breasts were gone or greatly reduced in just 30 days. What's happening with the full body mat is you're, you're getting um, uh, what's called a sawtooth wave. Now, I don't want to get too technical or too scientific about what a sawtooth wave does, but the essence is that it allows, it allows for bunches of frequencies to be delivered simultaneously to all of your cells. And that's why it only takes eight minutes to get all of your cells fully charged. Now you can stay on it longer than eight minutes, 
but it won't charge your cells anymore. You know, once a battery is fully charged, you can plug it in all night and it won't charge anymore. But what will happen if you stay on it longer than eight minutes is your body will get to a deeper state of relaxation. So the first eight minutes does the full charge and oxygenation, and the second eight minutes will bring you to a deeper state of relaxation. So if someone comes to me and they don't have any particular issue like back pain or neck pain or shoulder pain or foot pain or some particular body area that they want to focus on, but they have sleep as an issue or, or depression or anxiety and stress, which so many people have, um, if that's what's going on, then we'll just run it at least 16 minutes on the full body mat, maybe 24, uh, to help with that. But typically someone has an issue that they want to work on, a lower back pain, for instance. That's the, probably the thing I hear the most. So we'll do eight minutes on the full body mat, and then we'll, we'll, we'll shift to either the pad or the probe. And <clears throat> what the pad and the probe does is um, uh, they deliver a square wave, and a square wave is very specific for breaking pain cycles and helping to speed up the body's own process of healing dramatically. So um, we'll put the, the pillow or the probe right on or underneath that area um, that we want to find relief in. And we'll do it for 8 minutes or 16 minutes or maybe even 24 minutes. The thing about the pad and the probe is you can't overdo it. You can do, <clears throat> you can do that ongoing. Obviously, we're limited to how much time we can do it here, but for those that have their own at home, they can do the pad and the probe as much as they want on areas that they're trying to, to help with. Um, the, the full body mat, you, you would do uh, no more than an hour a day. wouldn't hurt you to do more, but you get so relaxed to the point where there's no more benefits you know, after getting completely relaxed. So an hour a day is, is maximum. And I've never even done an hour. I might do 16 minutes twice a day and maybe squeeze in another time of 8 minutes. Because you can do a recharge every 5 or 6 hours. <clears throat> so you can do it every, uh, you know, 3 times a day if, if you schedule it. Some people can even do four. If you do it right on the button every six hours, you could do four. I've never done four, but I do know someone who has. So, any questions so far? No. Okay. So one, one of the reasons that we need these frequencies, <clears throat> absolutely need them, is we're so bombarded by what's called electrosmog. And electrosmog is the cell phone waves, the radio waves, the microwaves, the TV waves, <clears throat> all these frequencies that are man-made that are very, very damaging and very, very bombarding to our, our human bodies. And we're, they're frequencies that we're not meant to live with. So as a result of that constant bombardment, there's so many autoimmune issues now. You hear about a lot of people being diagnosed with fibromyalgia. Well, what is fibromyalgia? Doctors don't even know what that is. If someone's got pain throughout their body, they'll just call it fibromyalgia. Well, in Japan, there's no such term as fibromyalgia. They actually call it magnetic field deficiency syndrome because <clears throat> they know exactly what's going on. And this is called magnetic resonance stimulation, completely to counter that. And that's why one of my clients with 25 years, constant fibromyalgia, chronic fibromyalgia, and chronic fatigue problems, and not sleeping well, <clears throat> her life is better now. You know, within a couple of weeks, her pain began to shift uh, in areas that for 25 years she hasn't gotten any relief at all. And not only. Okay, now one thing that I really want to make sure you understand is it's, it's always great when we notice something happen very quickly. And it's amazing to me how often we do, whether it's pain relief. Um, whether it's uh, a tremor that's, that's, that's um, improved, um, headache issues, sleep issues, digestion issues, depression issues, pain anywhere in the body issues. You know, it's, it's always an incredible and great thing when we notice relief right away. But I really need you to understand that this is not an injection, it's not a pill, it's not a drug, it's a process. So you may not feel anything today, or a week from now, or a month from now. And, you know, it, but keep in mind, this works for everyone, because it works on the cellular level.